Welcome to Mount Shasta Escape. So it's August 10th, 2024. We're a little bit on the east side of Cottonwood Pass and we're ready to do a lake to a do a hike to a place called Ptarmigan Lake. Saturday morning, so the parking lot was full, so we're parked right out here by the highway. We are starting at 10,642 feet and we're going to be going up I don't know, 1,400 feet? So yeah. We're going to be up pretty high. And it's in the 40, very windy, so very cool. <laughs> wait, 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 Pesci. And rain is supposed to start here around 1 o'clock. Beautiful blue sky at the moment. <laughs> so what is this called, Cottonwood Creek? Cottonwood Creek, yeah. Well, I'm... Optimistic about the temperatures. <laughs> oh, the weather's so nice in the morning. You think, how can it be <laughs> rainy all afternoon? She has a nice gentle braid. I yeah, like that. That's what the hikers say. Uh -huh. Mountain bikers say. We've been on anything like this since Blackbeard. Yeah. Again, hiking this is really. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's Hopefully, there's not going to be too many of these. Uh huh. And so far, I mean, this doesn't feel like a scramble. Like no, Black no, Butte. it's not a scramble. No, this is the easy part of Blackbeard. Yeah. I saw those pictures, and that's when I said, "Wow." This could be nice. something we do again. Uh huh. I'm saying now, though, you need to get here by 8.30. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, it's a Saturday. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But these will slide also, but only after multiple days of continuous rain. You've got to totally saturate the ground. At that point, watch out. We have hiked on days like that, and we have both heard and seen slides and things just like this. Look at this trail, it hasn't happened here in quite a while. We had one really, really wet summer when we were living in Colorado. We were doing lots of hiking and backpacking. If you're lucky, you can get some of that wisdom just by learning from others and not actually having to go through it making the same mistake once. Yeah, most of us though, make those mistakes. Well, we always used to carry a, it's Garmin now, but at the time it was Delorme InReach, but we don't carry it on hikes anymore, especially when we're both there, because we're both using iPhone, 5, iPhone 15s, which 15 Pros, I don't know if the standard 15 has it or not. Pro Max, I should say. But uh, they both have the satellite SOS feature. And if you do the SOS, it does allow you to send text messages back and forth between search and rescue or whoever it is that's gonna be involved in trying to help you with your emergency. <laughs> We like friendly dogs. Yes, <laughs> no problem. No, I think they just got haircuts. Well, well, not that long ago. Oh, so yeah. Cute. Well, that's nice of you because we do it ourselves. Oh, but you're very, very sweet. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Channel Forest Road, which they're closed. And even though I know there are a lot of people on it, so far they've all been nice and yeah, with or without dogs and. Uh huh. Hello. Oh, you know. Yeah. Come on. They're both friendly. Yeah, he is there. Close. Yeah, I think. All right, good girls. Okay, they're both half Aussie. They say you look, you look like my mommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. It's beautiful. So they're Aussie and what? Poodle. Poodle. They're doodles, Aussie doodles. Yeah. That's the thing these days. <laughs> right, less shedding or. Okay. This one doesn't shed at all. Okay. That one does a little bit. Yeah, the brown one, she's got a little more of the Aussie fur. But we also uh, keep the fur fairly short. We do that ourselves, so. Oh, you're so pretty. Look how pretty you are. You're kind yeah. of, has he been swimming? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. these guys will be doing it too. Perfect, yeah. thank you. Yep, you too. Oh, 
Hello. How are you doing? Good. Bumps. <laughs> Stupid. I think the rocks are going through here are either granites or granite outrights. And the difference between the two of those is how much uh, plagiar clays is in the rock. More plagiar clays and you go towards granite diorite. Less plagiar clays, more quartz, you go towards granite. And there is no one set elevation for tree line. It's a combination of things. Elevation's a lot of it, but also how much precipitation area gets, what the soil type is like, and I'm sure there are other factors, but Tree line varies. Hi, hi. They're friendly. I, I don't think we'll have any problems. Fine. Uh -huh. Leave it. Well, babe. Well. It's hard to stop. Yeah. To get them to leave it, but when the dogs want to say hi, it's, yeah. it's tough. They yeah. are gorgeous. You have pretty dogs too. Yes, I like we do. Them. And I bet the little one's a little Spitfire. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. We've seen dogs like you. Yeah. Right, Tony. Only in Colorado. What's oh, that? There's some over there too. I can get them. Yeah. Yeah. The rosy paintbrush. They're just, they're red orange everywhere. Yeah. Beautiful. Get a drink, Sadie. Oh, they're all over the place. Here you go, girl. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad we got high enough for those kind of flowers. Yeah. I guess for anybody listening to this, I would rate something a scramble where you have to actually use your hands as well as your feet to kind of climb up. And scrambles can be ranked anywhere from three to just below five. When you get to fives, you need climbing gear. When you get to fours though, even though it's a scramble, you use your hand and feet, there is a exposure, risk of a getting injured or killed. Class three is usually not so much. And we've done both. We don't technical climb. No fives and above. Our daughter is a technical climber. She has climbed 5'11s. Fairly nice sized lakes. Yeah. And of course, we gotta go down before we go back up. Yeah. Oh, but. So much for training. Yeah. <laughs> Goes out the window, it's raining. Yeah. She is very friendly. You have a very soft coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very soft. Well, if we do the 400 feet, I think that'll pretty well get us over tree line. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of your typical high mountain lake Wild, we're coming up to. Wildflower meadow. Rock walls on one side. A little less steep on this side. Well, I think we have to go up about 200 feet more to get to the lake. We're about 11,900 right now. Reminds me a little bit of Highland Mary. It's pretty up here for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, it does. With all the lakes. Golden Retriever, I think we'll probably let him say hi. Yeah, he, she just said that he's friendly, yeah. so. Hello. Oh, good. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we have a grandson that was at that age not long ago. But he's, <laughs> yeah. he's a little bigger now. Oh, yeah, it's just pretty little. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Lakes the whole way up. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> good. Stay. But I can't see anything. Hi there. Where's that dog? Hi there. You say, oh, I'm stay. I'm worried now. <laughs> Sit. People up here. All right, our dogs are friendly. Yeah, you, you just go ahead and go through. Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> Get yourself a drink, girls. Tarmigan Lake is above that grassy ridge up there. So we're above the tree line. Yes, there are a few trees, but they're getting kind of scraggly. Not many trees growing above here. 
And we are at 12,014 feet elevation. That's about where I'd call tree line here. And if you want dense trees, it's gosh, it's a couple looking down there. A couple hundred feet below us is where the where the dense forest begins. Okay, so we've climbed about 1,352 feet. We're at 12,095 feet elevation. We have made it to Ptarmigan Lake on the right. There's an unnamed small lake on the left over here. And this says we climbed 1,458 feet. I have so, 1382 on my watch. Well, my watch is yeah. giving less credit than mm -hmm. my phone, Gaia. Okay, I'll have to see. Let me get some ball. Sadie says, finally a lake. Let's see if we can see over the other side here and how windy it is. Yeah, it's very nice down here. Let me see. If anybody's never been to Colorado, this is classic Colorado. We have seen many lakes surrounded by mountains in our hikes through Colorado. And this is right up there. This is a good one. Oh, this, this is, is the nice. unnamed lake. Sadie, we're not going to go down there, girl. Got a little bit of snow. Yeah. So, time for a lunch break. Ads. Yeah. Okay, we're at our lunch stop, and now using my phone, I did it with the GoPro, but I used uh, Peak Finder. And the peak right there is Yale, it's a 14er. I've climbed that. Moving over here, there's one way off in the distance. That peak right there is Columbia. Back. Moving a little more to the left here, it's kind of shrouded in clouds, it's Harvard. I have climbed Harvard, I've been on top of that one. And that's what shows it. Mount Oxford is over there, I can see it too, but I never climbed Oxford. Yeah, Yale should, certainly should be visible. Yale is just uh, the, the closest one to us, kind of the more rounded top. 14,200. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's Yale. Sure. So that's all the 14ers we can see from here. Clouds are forming to the north, and can't see over that hill there to know what's forming that way. And around us, we're kind of surrounded, so I mean, it's not too uncommon to have things be building that you don't see until they're on you. But it's time for us to be heading back. Good, good choice, good choice. We can jump in the lake one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Well, that uh, tall, rounded one off to, kind of to the right is, is uh, Yale. And that kind of dominates the landscape here. It's the closest 14er. It's got a fairly wide summit to it. I went up there, I think there were six or seven of us that maybe five or six, I don't remember. I went up there and there's plenty of room for everybody to be up there at the same time. Some, like Harvard, is a real tiny little point that you just have one or two people go up there, get a picture, and then come back down. Not room for lots of people up there. Okay, girls. Stay close, Sadie. Close. Hello. Our dogs are friendly. If it makes you need to stay back. Do you want to say hi, then? You can't. You want to say hi? You're not sure. Yes. Yes, there is the big one, but you got about 300 feet or more to go to get up to it. Up. It's not the distance. It's uh. It's not. <laughs> required. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful up there. When you get there, there's a, there's a little ridge. You Definitely see the big lake on the right, but there's a really pretty one off to the left side yeah. of the ridge too. Yeah. No, it's above tree line. It's nice. Oh, love sticky. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yep. <laughs> Sadie. Come on, Sadie. Where'd you go? Uh -uh. Come on, she's over there still making friends. <laughs> Come on. Socializing. She's over that other dog. Yeah. I worry about all these people getting such a late start up, but you know, that's how you <laughs> learn. Yeah.
Hi. Hello. I like your shirt. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Aussie doodles. Yes, they both are. I guess so, yes. I thought Cashy's looking interested. Thinking about it. Yeah. Maybe stop at a point where she can go in. Yeah, see, I can find that. How about right here, girl? Yeah. Yeah. How about walking on huh. rough, early rocks in a creek? Yeah, it's kind of slippery. Yes, they were thirsty. Kind of mossy. So we are about almost five miles into this. Probably have a mile and a half or so to go to get back. 2.14. Okay, 2.14, <laughs> she says. Garmin has a trackback feature, which I don't have on my watch. And we still have about 759 vertical to go down. So we've knocked off a lot of it, but there's still quite a bit to go. I mean, there's totally blue sky up there. It's just where you look, you know. Not so good up there. We got some time before anything hits. I don't know how long, oh, I but think, I think we're fine. Yeah, but I mean, look at that. I yeah. think we're fine, but all these people uh -huh. that are starting out. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, blue sky, lots of it. Lots of blue sky. I mean, we've been out here for a while now, and it has rained every afternoon, just at different times when it starts. Looks stormier this direction, though. It does. Jolene said, it depends which direction you look. And the clouds from this direction have been kind of spreading towards us. Yes. That would put the clouds to our west. Uh-huh. The thickest yes. parts. And that's, yeah, they've been moving pretty much west to east. But even the stuff over there where it looks the heaviest, I mean, I'm not hearing thunder yet. Uh -huh. Although I'm seeing some clouds that could develop into thunderheads right Definitely. up there. Now, we were thinking about staying out in Colorado another two, three, four days, but the forecast just uh, stays rain, rain, rain through the whole western part of the state that, that we want to do things in. But we're probably going to head home tomorrow. Hello. Hello, how are you guys doing? Good. How, did you guys get up there? Yeah. yeah. How's it look? It's beautiful. It's beautiful up there. Stunning. Could be a little rainy, but yeah. <laughs> This yeah, weather is looking. I don't think it won't be too bad. Yeah. You just never know. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah, friendly. They're, they're, they're both friendly. friendly. Hello. So Hello. Hi, Thank you, guys. Enjoy your hike. Thank you. So it is 108. Just passed a group of three young men just starting out. I think they're hoping they make it up to Ptarmigan Lake. And they may, but I'd be very surprised if they do that without getting some rain and thunder. You see Yale now? Yeah. It's right there. There it is. Beautiful. Yep. Wow. No, it dominates the skyline coming down this. It'll be out of sight here before long, but. Yeah, yeah the 14ers, in my opinion, are better to look at than to climb. <laughs> Certainly now. Yeah. No, it's just off limits. When I climbed Yale and when I climbed Harvard, I did both of them off trail. And there were sections of both that I went up that would have been Class four scrambles. Risk, severe risk if you messed up of injury or death. Uh, Jolie and I both, gosh, when we were much, much younger. First time we ever climbed Handy's, another 14er. Uh, we did it with a couple friends. We had our German Shepherd at that time with us. Shows how long ago that was. And the standard route up was blocked with snow. It was early season, it was kind of middle of June. We were kind of babes in the woods, didn't realize that you really do, don't do 14ers until you get into at least mid-July, August. But we climbed that off trail, kind of straight up one side. And it was quite challenging also. So that's three 14ers that we've done off standard trail. I mean, these routes that we would take, occasionally you see little fragments of a trail here or there, but mostly not. And they had true scrambles. You had to use your hands and feet to try to work your way through sections. 
And some of them were fairly high with rather bad falls if you messed up. That was long ago. Now 14ers are, are long since in the rearview mirror. Nothing we do.